Today on the Philly Toll Podcast, we got to talk about C.J. Garner Johnson's comments on Twitter. He woke up today choosing violence. He recently deleted a tweet, and rightfully so. We'll get into all that. But he called out former D.C. Jonathan Gannon. He simply said, you ain't put us in position to make plays in the second half of the Super Bowl. This is Philly Talk with Philly Mike. Talking sixes in the bird game, that's our life. Competition, we ain't scared, yeah, that's what we like. Win or lose, you know we showing up and we gon' fight. Uh, you see, we strive for the sky every day that go by. And every single week we scream and fly, eagles fly. This is Philly Talk with Philly Mike, yeah. This is Philly Talk with Philly Mike, yeah. What is going on, everybody? I go by Philly Mike, and this is the Philly Tall Podcast. And today we got some things to get into. C.J. Garner Johnson's comments and the possibility of the Eagles giving a one-year deal to Leonard Fournette. We'll talk about that. But before we do that, Eagle Nation, help your boy out. Hit that like button. It's free. It's easy. It don't cost a thing, and it's greatly appreciated. Also, subscribe, ding the bell, so you know when we go live or drop videos. Let's get into it. So again, Elliot Shore Parks first tweets Jonathan Gannon on what went wrong in the second half of the Super Bowl. And again, he says multiple times since the Super Bowl was over that he could have did a better job, that he didn't like some of the calls he did. We talk about him not blitzing. Go ahead and blitz, but don't do it when it's the obvious time to blitz. Zero blitz inside the five. Pat Mahone calls it out right away. You made it way too easy in the second half for a guy on one leg. Mahomes is great. He could beat up a lot of defenses, but you just made it too easy. Time and time again, you went predictable. You didn't adjust. And I'm glad CJ Gon- Johnson called that out, but I'm also glad he deleted it. I see both sides. The simple fact is this. Since JG became the head coach, he don't have control over the questions asked, but a lot of questions are asked about the Super Bowl and he keeps saying it and it's like rubbing it in Philly fans and Philly players' face. Like he knows he was wrong. He knows how to fix it, supposedly, and blah, 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 blah. So CJ Garner Johnson waking up eight in the morning, like, man, this guy's still talking about the ugly calls in the Super Bowl. I'm going to come out and say it. You ain't put us in a position to make plays. You played it simple. You played it easy. The field didn't help, but that's not a big excuse because both teams played on it. CJ Garner Johnson realized then, hey, look, I'm an adult. I'm trying to get a contract. I don't want to make no waves. He's not a Philadelphia Eagle and good because if JG was the DC still, (laughs) CJ Garner Johnson probably wouldn't resign. He's been really heavy on his social medias, YouTube, TikTok, saying he loved Philly. He want to stay in Philly. This guy gone. Is probably another reason why he wants to stay in Philly. But he had a a masterful year, switching from slot corner to safety. Did it beautifully. So versatile. We got to make him our top priority. But I'm glad to know that C.J. Garner Johnson is one of us. An aggressive type player. He doesn't want to be passive 24-7. You got to play some coverage in the NFL. And Sean Desai has a scheme similar to Jonathan Gannon, but the mechanics are different. He's going to show blitz and drop back in coverage. He's going to show zone and press man. He's going to do different things in this system that is the Vic Vangio system that Jonathan Gannon took and kind of went off even more passive. So I'm not really worried about Sean Desai having the same philosophy. We've seen guys like Bradbury, Slay, Garner Johnson, Hassan Reddick all have breakout years in this system. Just the mechanics, the design, the aggressive nature, press, a little bit more man, which I think you'll see from Sean Desai. Again, it was right for him to delete this because everybody already screenshot and ran with it. But, it, you know, you can't keep it up. But I do feel that these players hearing Jonathan Gannon call the Arizona Cardinals bird gang, hearing them say multiple times, it's on me, it's on me, but he's not here no more. We don't want to hear about the accountability when you're somewhere else. We wanted to hear about the accountability when you were here all this time, and we didn't get to hear it. So I understand the frustration. I like that he spoke his mind. 
I like that he had the common sense to say, hey, let me fall back on this. I know it's already going to be shared, but let me fall back on it. And I hope that the Eagles can work out a long-term deal. Uh, if not, hopefully he's not mad if we give him the franchise tag. But him playing mad, probably just going to up his game because he knows anybody on a franchise tag, you can bet on yourself again and even make the big-time payment even more. Although he is coming off, a, like I said, an all-pro season minus the injury. But again, it's Eagle beat writers continuing to post what Gannon says. That's why I keep hearing it. The John, McM uh, the John McClain's, the Elliot Shore Parks, the John Clarks keep showing me Jonathan Gannon saying this, that, and the third. And it makes me mad, too. I said on Go Talk last night, it's getting me mad. So the players must feel frustrated, too. But shout out to CJ Garner Johnson. It might be messy. You might not agree with it. But, hey, they're human. They're 20 years old. They're on social media. He said it, realized his mistake, took it off. But, hey, shout out to you, bro. Now, before we get into this Leonard Fournette being released by the Bucks and why Philly Mike might decide to go give him a one-year deal and why he would take it, I do want to say make sure you are following us on the Jan app. Not just following us, because a lot of people are following. I see y'all downloading Jam, signing up, and everything. The link is in the description and at the top of the comment section in the pinned comment. A lot of you are following, signed up, but you haven't put the promo code in. If you haven't put the promo code in, but you're already signed up, click the link and it brings you right to the promo code. Put it in P5DY6KKO. If you are signing up now and you don't see the option to put the promo code, please go back, sign up, have the app on your phone or wherever you have it. Then come back to this video, click the link again for the second time, and it will pop up for you to put the promo code. We go live every Sunday at 7 o'clock, bring you on, have barbershop conversations. It's a fun time. Here's the reason why I think it's a good idea to get Leonard Fournette for a one-year deal and why I think he would. Because he saw multiple people come here on a one-year deal and then get a nice or big contract after that because Philly's just loaded, especially on the offensive side. And with us possibly losing Miles Sanders and saying yesterday, A.J. Brown co-signed it. The, uh, Derek Gunn said he heard about it in the Eagles organization. And Howie Roseman said that they all believe Kenneth Gainwell can be RB1, can lead the back. But they also said that we need multiple backs because no one running back should be asked to do everything in this day and age football. That's how Howie believes. That's what a lot of organization believes. And if you ask me what complements a Kenny Gainwell type player the most is thunder to his lightning. He can catch out the backfield. He can do a lot of things. But if you need a bruiser back, get this man on a one-year deal. But, Mike, you can't pay Miles Sanders. Why are you going to pay Leonard Fournette? He needs a one-year cheap deal. He just made, what, six, seven million dollars per year on his last three-year contract. He's being released from it for a reason. He's only going to ask for maybe, you could probably get him between two to three, maybe four at the most. Two to four million dollars, one-year deal. He'd be the thunder behind Kenneth Gainwell. He can block. He can even catch out the backfield. And yeah, you might have to put some incentives in there to get in shape and this, that, and the third. But a guy like Leonard Fournette, a guy like Kareem Hunt could be the part of the solution to running back. Now, I'm not opposed of drafting a guy to play along with RB1, Kenneth Gainwell. And again, I'm not saying Kenneth Gainwell is RB1. If we draft a guy who can do what Miles Sanders and better, well, then Kenny G stays in his role. But if we don't, we want to get some thunder and lightning. This is a good, cheap veteran. That's the main thing. Cheap, one-year deal, and he's complimentary to what Kenny G can do. That is all my, that's my biggest take on the Leonard Fournette situation. Kareem Hunt can compliment, but it's more of a Miles Sanders, Kenny G, where they're both similar, but you give them an even workload. Or maybe you up Kenny G's workload because you believe in him. But you can't just have him and Boston Scott. And I know Trey Sermon's still on the roster, but I don't know where the Eagles uh, comfort level is with him and what's going on because he couldn't get time over Boston Scott. Boston Scott's a free agent. Do you bring him back as just a guy who, if you need him to get it done, he can get it done? So many things to do. But a free agent has to be cheap. I think Leonard is cheaper than a guy like Kareem Hunt. Kareem Hunt's more explosive. 
But Leonard is the thunder to Kenny G's lightning. And you can even call Boston Scott similar to a lightning type player where he's, you know, he's, he's shifty, he's nimble, and blah, blah, blah. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section on Leonard Fournette. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section on CJ Garner Johnson calling out JG. Man, the Super Bowl still hurts a lot of us, and it has to hurt some of the players too. Again, I go by Philly Mike. Help your boy out. Hit that like button. It's free. It's easy. It don't cost a thing. And I greatly appreciate it. Join Notification Gang too and click the link. Sign up. It's free app to talk birds barbershop style. Until next time, you know what time it is. We out.